It's a good day to have a great day. Let's make today beautiful. And remember, no one is perfect and never stop dreaming. So, it's time for another video. Thank you for being here. So, today we are going to talk about live streaming, giving you some helpful tips on how to live stream when you are in an actual live chat. Okay, so. The first thing is, you have to remember, YouTube is a community. So in a community, you need to communicate. Ding, ding, ding. So you need to talk to each other back and forth. Okay. So if you are a content creator for a while, you should know how to live stream. Once you get into the live screen, stream, you're going to see yourself on the screen. Okay. On the right-hand side, you will get your live chat meaning that's where people are going to be talking to you and you can see it okay at the very top to the right hand side and i will um insert some things in here you will see a thing that says live chat and top chat you want to always make sure that you are in live chat because then you will see all of the comments that come through um the current active comments if you stay in top chat some comments you may miss. So make a note, guys. Get your pen and paper. When you're in a live stream, make sure that on the right-hand side it says live chat and not top chat, okay? The next thing is you should have a moderator. What is a moderator? A moderator is a mod, a moderator, blue coat group, blue wrench group. So they help the host keep their chat from being spammed, um, keep their chat from being um, people have questions or anything so if you see someone's name in blue you ask them hey how does this chat work everyone's live chat runs different and I will give you some little things of um, some different things that some people like and some people don't like to use during their um, live stream okay now a mod you can make a mod in several ways so I'm going to explain how that works you can make a mod, a person, a mod in your stream where it's just they are in your live stream only and they have access to um, block somebody, um, time someone out, answer questions as the host is giving their commentary, okay? The next way is you can make someone a mod over your entire page. When you make someone a mod over your entire page, that means they have access, they act as you. So... That should only be a very, very close family member, okay? So I'll be, again, be in it, inserting some things throughout the chat so you can see what it looks like, okay? The next thing is the three ways to make someone a moderator. The first way is when you're in the live stream, in the live chat on the right-hand side, you would click the person's name. You would see three dots. I think it says uh, report delete or something like that but the last one would be add a moderator that's the button you want to click before you do that their name will be gray when you click it and you place them as a moderator on your channel it will turn blue and it will have a wrench next to it okay the next way is under the comment section on your YouTube studio so say I sent you a comment if you go to the comment section you'll see my comment and in that comment right there you click the three dots and again the last one would say add a moderator the next way is to go to your main page and you're going to go into your youtube studio you're going to go to a tab that says community and again i will insert it once you click that you will see a box in that box is where you would add your moderator now in this instance you do need to copy and paste their link of their page okay so let me get this um the next thing i wanted to tell you about i have my notes here that i do not want to forget anything uh let's see um if you are a monetized page okay and say you have people that are members sometimes you will have to 
make them a mod instead of having them as a member. I don't know why it's happening. It could just be a glitch for a moment. But if they are a mod and then they become a member, if their name is green, for some reason they can't do the mod status. So the mod status takes precedence. So you may need to change them back blue or you may not see them green. It depends on how that's going to work, okay? Now, also in the live stream, if you click on the person's name, or rather, if you're typing the person's name in the chat and you put the at sign, the A with the circle around it, and say you want to um, get my attention in the chat, if you use the at sign and my full channel name, so Vern's Junk Closet, Vern Space Junk Space Closet, it'll highlight red to me. So if Michelle is sending me a message and Michelle types, oh, hello, how are you, Vern? You're going to type at Vern's Junk Closet. You have to spell out the whole name. Now, that's on a cell phone. If you are on a computer and you want me to you want to get my attention, you do the at sign again. But if you just put in the first few letters of my first name, so you put in V E R, my name should pop up. Now, if I'm still currently active in the stream, it will come up. If not, I wanted to let you know you can find out who is in your stream that is active and participating. That would be the participation list. That is on the right side in the same area where the live stream is at the top right. You'll see the three dots. You hit that. Now there, when you hit that button, again, I will insert it. When you hit that, it will, see, it will show you who is in your chat that has commented within the last, I don't know, five or ten minutes. So if you have not commented in the chat for a while, it's called the bushes, and that means they are there, they're watching you, they're just not active and they're not commenting, okay? So you may not see them in your participation list, but if you call out their name, hey, Vern, are you here? They might say, yeah, I'm here, but they just haven't been active, meaning they weren't actively typing throughout the chat, okay? The next thing I wanted to tell you is when you have your videos and you're, after your video is uploaded, you have the thumbs up and the thumbs down, like your own video click that click the thumbs up you do you like your video or do you not like your video you do so click it that's a little tip for you guys click your own videos thumbs up okay the next thing is um to ask people to share you out so when you're going live you can use your community tab if you're over 1000 followers and you can say hey i'm going live at 5 p.m today okay You'll also, as you're doing a, um, a live and you're scheduling it, if you schedule it, it will also um, go on the live list. There's a list in YouTube and it'll say all people that are live are going live, but it'll show a schedule and saying this person is going live at whatever time, okay? Uh, let's see. The next thing I wanted to let you know, I have all my notes here, is... Again, questions, if you see the people in blue, ask them. I told you about the participation list. Be respectful in the uh, live streams, okay, guys? You need to be respectful of the host, the mods or moderators, and the rest of the chat family. So no arguing, swearing, or anything that's inappropriate in the chat, okay? That is a way to get you banned out of someone's live stream really fast. So, the correct way, and the correct way I see, it may not be for everyone, but the correct way that I see it is, when you go in someone's live stream, you say hello to the host, hello to the mods, hello to the chat. Okay? That's a good tip. You don't have to. I'm just giving you a pointer. You can use it if you want or not, okay? Um, and again, um, no drama in there. Um, some... Live streams allow you to swear and curse, and some don't. If you're not sure, don't do it, okay? Just for that purpose. <laughs> More tips. Do not spam the chat. And I will give you some definition of what spam is. I'll either insert it, and this is per YouTube rules. You can go to your community guidelines and also look it up and see what is considered spam, okay? No more than two emojis. Now, that depends on some hosts. Some hosts may say four emojis. Some say, may, some may say two. But if you are putting in the chat 12 emojis at once, 
that is considered spam per YouTube, not per me, okay? And then I'm also going to show you um, or tell you about some ways to find where you can see the spam, but we'll get into that momentarily, okay? So repeating a comment. Hi, um, Vern's Young Closet, how are you today? Hi, Vern's Young Closet, how are you today? And you keep doing it two, three, four, that's considered spam, okay? So don't do that, don't do that. <laughs> So, back to back, sorry, my phone rang, it's considered spam also in inappropriate uh, comments. So, on your um, studio, if you go into your analytics, before you even get there, if you just go into your YouTube studio, you'll see um, a section on the left-hand side that says comments. When you click that, you're going to get three tabs. Publish, which means good comments. Helpful review, meaning it's helpful review, you need to look at it. Or a likely spam. So when you look in the likely spam, you'll probably see several emojis, a phone number, or um, words that are that you don't want repeated. So if you have words on your channel that you do not want said, maybe um, some things that you don't like in appropriate words, you'll see it in that section, okay? When a comment is repeated as spam, it goes to, again, help a, re help a review in your YouTube studio. And also, guys, I meant to tell you, in your live chat, you can block someone that is spamming your chat. You can hide the comments. You just click the three buttons and there it'll say report or it'll say um, block or report to YouTube or something like that. Okay. So just to recap, YouTube is a community. Please don't go in and out of the chat. Try to stay in there for 15 minutes or more. 20 is even better. Um, if you are a monetized page or you go to someone's page that is monetized, please watch their ads in full. Um, again, the correct way steps to connect. This is the proper way to connect, guys. Go to the page. Watch a full video. As the video is playing, you'll know if you like it. If you like it, subscribe. Once you subscribe, hit the thumbs up. And then put on the notification bell. So, you can watch the video. You can like it, meaning hit that thumbs up. Make it blue. You can subscribe to the channel. Now, this is all while this video is running. You can do all this at the same time, and you'll click the notification bell. So the notification bell will let you know when that person goes live or when they upload a video. So I hope this helped you and gave you some, some tips and tricks on how to do a live stream. Thank you for being here at Vern's Junk Closet. Peace and blessings. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the thumbs up for this video. I wish you all the best. Love and light. See you on the next video.